I licked it. I licked it. That doesn't work. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Carly. And I'm Lauren, and today we're making monster bookmarks. This guy doesn't have an eye. Let's get into the craft. <laughs> All right, for the craft today, you're going to need your four different size sheets of paper that were in your bag, the two googly eyes that were in your bag, a scissors, some glue, possibly a hole puncher, and a marker. Okay, to start, you're gonna take your two pieces of paper that are the same color. This is gonna be your monster body and your monster nose. You can take your nose and you can cut it into whatever shape you want. Here, I'm just cutting mine into a nice rounded nose, but you could make yours pointy, you could make yours really short. It really doesn't matter what shape your nose is, but you just wanna make it long enough that it'll hook over a piece of paper, which would be your book page. Now you're gonna glue on your nose. Do not use too much glue, obviously. You can see here I used way too much glue because it is squishing out and I'm having to wipe it around. But really, a little bit of glue is gonna be good enough. You do not need that much glue. Next, you are going to take your two googly eyes and put those on. These can, you can put them wherever. It's your monster, you can choose. But I'm putting gonna, I'm gonna put mine right above my nose so that it looks like a monster, like a, kinda like a human face, like a eyes, nose, but really, you can put it anywhere. Next, you're going to take your larger square sheet of paper. It's a different color. You can turn it into whatever you want. This could be a circle or a semicircle like I'm doing for a belly. You could turn it into stripes. You could turn it into really whatever you want. You could turn it into hair. But I'm gonna make mine into a little semicircle that's gonna be like the belly of my monster. And I'm just gonna glue that right on there and that's going to be good for my monster belly. Again, don't use too much glue. I used a little bit too much glue this time as well. I'm not really learning that well, but it's fine. <laughs> um, a good idea might be to have a piece of paper towel under your monster as you're making him just so you don't get glue on your nice table, but it's it's fine so far. Next, I am actually going to make some star polka dots on my monster. I have this really great star hole puncher and I'm gonna take the blue piece of paper and I'm gonna turn it into a bunch of stars, a bunch of polka dots to put on my monster. Like I said, you can turn this into anything you want. It doesn't even have to be a monster bookmark. It could be like a princess or a dragon. It really doesn't matter. But you're gonna take these if you want to, you can make polka dots, and you can take the polka dots and glue them on. If you have a hole puncher at home, you can make into circle polka dots. You could cut your paper into like triangles, and you don't even have to do polka dots. You can do stripes, like I said before. You can really turn this into anything you want. You're gonna keep hearing me say it. It can really be anything you want it to. So I'm just gonna glue my polka dots around my monster, and uh, then we'll move on to the next bit. Alright, so now that you have your polka dots glued on, or your stripes, or your belly, whatever, you're going to take your marker and put on some eyebrows and a smile. You can draw anything else you want on here, but I'm just going to do surprised eyebrows and a nice smile. You can make him have whatever kind of face you want. Next, you're going to take your little scrap of white, and that's going to be your teeth. So you can turn it into really any shape teeth. I'm going to do triangles because that's just, I mean, that's what I kind of think of when I think of a monster. Maybe some sharp teeth. Although this is a good monster, so he would never, like, use his teeth. He uses them to smile, though. So I'm going to make my teeth into nice pointy triangles, and then I'm going to glue them onto my smile. I'm going to glue them onto the underside of my smile so it looks like his teeth are, like, sticking out from his mouth. But you can do it on the upper side of his smile, too. It really doesn't matter. He doesn't even have to have teeth if you don't want. You can take your marker and draw on a tongue, or really, you're going to keep hearing me say it, it can be whatever you want it to be. Alright, now that your monster bookmark is done, go grab your favorite book and put them to use.
thanks for tuning in today to make monster bookmarks. Bye, guys.